Xin chào các bạn và chào mừng quay trở lại với một số tiếp theo của Cơ sở 8 Exclusive và trong số ngày hôm nay thì mình sẽ có một nhân vật khá đặc biệt một dự án có được sự chú ý của cộng đồng trong thời gian vừa qua và đây là Chris là founder và CEO của Scalop là một dự án lending và borrowing ở trên Sui cũng là một cái blockchain khá nổi trong thời gian vừa qua nhưng mà chắc là mình sẽ để người ấy tự giới thiệu một chút về bản thân sau Hello Chris, uh, thank you for joining with us today uh, I would let you make your introduction about yourself and Scalop to our audience over there Yeah, thank you, Pam. And hey guys, I'm uh, Chris. I'm CEO and founder of Scala. And then, yeah, my, my background is I'm more about a technical founder about cybersecurity. And Scala is a, a leading money market on a three network. We offer including lending and borrowing, flash loan, SDK, lending derivative, and we also have a, a swap and bridge UI for the users. And we emphasize our high compatibility, security, and institutional grade, and also comprehensive support and transparency for the Yeah, for the ecosystem users. Yeah, that's that's nice. And uh, how is everything so far? How like how is like what, what can you? So we are in the middle of the bull market right now. I can see that there's a lot of like traction and also volume uh, on your platform. So, but like what what number can you share to the community over there? Like how what is the volume and what are you guys doing until so far? Yeah, currently we are the number one uh, TV of the Lendium borrowing DeFi protocol on the three network. Uh, if including the deposit and the supply, we have more than 200 million of TVL. If uh, minus the borrowing out, it, we still have a 130 million of TVL. And our lending and borrowing value is already over 30 billion. And our flash loan value is over, over 1.5 billion. So yeah, we are uh, our S coins, our uh, yaw uh, bearing tokens based on our lending uh, lending pools. It also, it's the biggest derivative uh, on the network. Have over like o- over 50 million of TVO. Yeah, I think it's close to 100 million re- recently. So yeah, that is some attraction about uh, yeah Scala protocol. Yeah. That is that's really impressive. But like, what is the key that derive a lot of attention for Scala? Mm, I think it's because uh, there's so many reasons. First is uh re- recently I think I would say since like um, maybe end of last year. People keep more and more eyes about the non EVN ecosystem, mm. including Solana ecosystem, <coughs> including uh, maybe Aptos ecosystem, and for sure, Sui ecosystem yeah. is one of the fast growing non EVN system. And Scala, what uh, Scala do is uh, we build a, a infrastructure of DeFi protocols on Let's Blockchain, and then we also uh, just doing much research and make our model the most optimized models, lending and borrowing protocols uh, in this new, like a uh, black horse ecosystem. So I think, yeah, that is the reason why just uh, everybody keep an eye on Scala. And we also working with Sui Foundation uh, for, for uh, doing some incentive program for the ecosystem users. Yeah, they give us grant and then we, we, we discuss and we think, yeah, now the, the best way to incentive the, the users to have a best traction is directly to, to reward the early stage uh, users, including uh, in, including the like borrowers, like uh, other protocols, they also invite uh, in, incentive like lend, lenders or liquidity providers. Yeah, so yeah, I think these reasons are like why Scala can have today. Yeah. All right. So let, let's say I'm I'm trying to use uh one one to use uh, Scala today uh, as a lender. Like, what is the yield I can can expect from from Scala? Uh, it depends on what assets you choose, but uh, yeah, for some examples, for uh, let's let's choose stables because yeah, the stables are now still the biggest. Uh, yeah, cur- and also the safest as well. Yeah, yeah the digital assets, stables, uh, digital assets are on on chain. Yeah, so for stables, uh, yeah, it, it, we also integrate with uh, some central chain. If you check like OKX DeFi, you can see they integrate with most of the uh, famous DeFi protocols. Uh, you can you, like one one click to deposit all. And left panel also show all of the APR and APY of all different protocols, and you can always see Scala is the top. Yeah, we offer it for stables. We offering the lowest, like from uh, maybe seventeen or eighteen uh, percentage of the APR, but up can we, we can up to sometimes it can do more than twenty five percentage of the APR. Yeah, so yeah, I think it's quite uh, attractive, and especially now it's the bull market. And the yield is come from uh, the incentive, incentive the borrower, and the borrower pay for the borrowing interest fee, and yeah, the, so the lenders can have this high uh, a- APR. It's just not a uh, some, something that's come from nothing. It's like real. We really just uh, collab and get some grant for the early yeah. stage, yeah, yeah <clears throat> users, and also it's uh, yeah, it's drag the whole model and have a high APR. Yeah, yeah, cool. Like because when it when it coming to the yield, right? Um, like just. Several years ago, like two years ago, 
uh, we see the the model Terra Luna model. Uh, mm. It's like guarantee like twenty percent fixed yield, and it's great like a lot of FOMO at, at that time. And but that model collapsed. Well, pretty much that for people who have been through that so uh, that that incident, pretty much understand what happened. But like for the new circle, this is the new circle, and there's a lot of newcomer come to the market. Um, what are different? Like the, there's the the old model only offer like. 20% of yield and it collapsed, but you guys can offer like 30% of, of yield and still, still be sustainable. So what is the, the different, biggest difference? Yeah, yeah, uh, this is a good question. Just for, I, I know for some like newcomers for DeFi space, yeah, they, they saw the APR, but they don't know where it's come from. Yeah, and the biggest difference between uh, Scalab and like previous uh, Luna is uh, Scalab's, uh, the, the yield come from Scalab is on two ways. Um, First, uh, is we incentivize the borrowing, and then just borrow, borrowing uh, users need to pay for the borrowing interest, and then based on the utilization rate, so uh, we have a the the, uh, the linear the three slope to point out which APR they should pay, and then they pay for the interest, and some of the percentage uh, like eighty percent of the list interest will go to the lender, and twenty percent are for the protocols uh, the fee, yeah, the model the models fee. So the, the, this all come, just come from the real uh, on-chain activity. It's not come from nothing or uh, inflection. I think that is the biggest difference. And then also on the previous uh, Luna and, and UST model, they link, uh, they, I, I think they use some formula to yeah. anchor their, 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 their native tokens of uh, yeah, Luna and their stables have a, may, may they have some, <coughs> some loop on their, on, on their formula. Yeah. And then when the uh, yeah, extremely breakthrough thing happens, some like big liquidation things happens, this is just blow the bubble. But what happened on Scallop, we are not like, yeah, just uh, pump the, the, the bubble. We just, uh, yeah, give, give, give yeah. real, just, uh, yeah, the digital assets out just uh, to the, uh, to its users, yeah. Yeah, and, and follow up with that as well, like Scallop also have the token, SCA token. Mm -hmm. And so, so what can like, the, the what is the, like, the utility of the token? And if I am a token holder of, of Scallop, like what I can expect when holding the token? Because like, you know, right? This is not that sustainable and also that, that not good for project when people just like buy the token and keep that on centralized chains and waiting for the pump, right? Well, it's DeFi, so it should, they, they should have something to use when they hold the token, right? Yeah, yeah. For, for SDA tokens, for the core utility, uh, I was, uh, first, uh, as every just DeFi protocol, so it also can use as a governance tokens. And then we also have a VE token model. You can lock it and have uh, unlock more uh, utility. And for the governance, I think it will also belong to, uh, the, the, the permission will also belong to VE holders. Yeah. yeah. And we also uh, have a revenue sharing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we also have a royal pro pro uh, royalty program. Yeah. Yeah, you can reward the, the, the loyal users, depends on how much the, uh, the, the, v, the, the VSDA, the tiers. Yeah, you can have different re re reward. We, we currently run in this event. And we also have a referral code, a referral code system. Depends on what's VSDA, how, how many Vs that you have, we have different tier. Yeah. Then your uh, referral codes can have a different discount and you can get a, a better like borrowing fee, sh a sharing percentage yeah, with, with this. And yeah, the, the last thing, uh, it's also one of the most important, is uh, holding VSDA will boost your borrowing Borrowing yard, well, uh, the SCA borrowing yard, and it can up to four times. Yeah. For example, currently the 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 our if you, you are a normal user, not a SCA, not a VSA holder, you only can get around <coughs> like fifteen percent of the borrowing reward. Uh, maybe maybe borrowing our USDC. But yeah, if you like for example me, yeah, I I have a ten k VSA. Yeah, I'm the top tier of the, the, the VSC holder, so I can get the yield boost and it can be four times my reward. So my borrowing reward can up to 60% uh, of the APR. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but on a smart contract side, uh, we have a fixed number of the price pool. We just uh, make your size uh, just get boost. So it's not a, a, a Ponzi, it's just yeah. not, not, a, not a scan. We just let your uh, proportion, let your percentage become bigger based on this, like you, you're holding VSDA. So yeah, I think these are the few most important yeah, utility for but, SDA. But it like keep the incentive for people like uh, someone who are in the world and they can like pretty much like get the benefit from, from their position as well, right? So how about like when looking in the retail side for, for people, right? Okay, so the thing is uh, like we in the bull market and there's a lot of, so from the retail side, 
uh, there's a lot of like ecosystem for them to to choose from, right? Uh, Ethereum, Solana, uh, even like on Ethereum, there's a lot of like layer choose for them to to choose one. So, uh, looking at like what you are providing, what with what you are providing, so what is your like strategy to grow even more to attract even more people to to come to add for this suite and then like to that they come to scale. Mm, yeah, for uh, definitely the uh, yeah the reason why we choose we uh, actually is be <coughs> because we. We see some 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 different some real like innovation about, about this uh, this uh, layer one uh, new solution. So um, I think here yeah, first uh, we want to build be be the uh, best DeFi projects on this uh, new uh, black hole layer one, and then we 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 willing to bet on it because you have a very good consensus, the the, the smart contract uh, yeah uh, framework as we move and high security and very their, their background. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a, is is that uh, it's easy to copy another sweet story again because in from 2017 to 20, early of 2021, yeah, this the, uh, yeah, face, pre previously Facebook now Meta they have the, let's collect the resource and then just collect all of the talent around the world and yeah. have set a department for building this blockchain. So yeah, we 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 really lucky that we can just uh, stand on a giant shoulder and they have uh, built on top of a very good uh, the best take uh, of the layer one solution. Uh, in 2024 yeah and then for scale up yeah what we bring uh, what, what we aiming to bring and what we are currently just doing and hope you already yeah see it is we want to be the uh, best uh, lending and borrowing protocol be the best money market not only a lending and borrowing also have offering more uh, features but our lending and borrowing is most optimized model uh, up on more, uh, not only compound v3 and solen v2 scale up a model is quite unique yeah it's just a uh, we, we we don't see it it's not it's not a scale it's not a fork yeah we're building from scratch yeah get to the, the, the get to the like um, best design and pop part from the uh, different like a uh, most optimized model in other chains and then that is yeah scale up the best model on the best uh, blockchain so yeah, I think this is our, our, our vision and then that's what just yeah what Scala was trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to like the, the net promotion, um like pretty much like for for retail, like what they can expect from from Scala even. Is it like the the application, the mobile application or like the the easier to use? So I, I see that you guys working a lot on simplify the UI UX and the experiment of the user, right? But what else, what more that you can expect? Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, yeah, uh, we start a professional UI. First, it's a current UI, mm -hmm. and I think it's made a lot, lot of sense because we need uh, we need to start uh, like maybe a complex version, and then we simplify single devices and for our like uh, development uh, and a smart contract. And yeah, it's it's made more just make more sense. Yeah, we are going to have a, a light UI version. Yeah, just for the uh, normal users. Uh, yeah, you don't need to see less too much uh, data if you just, just want to do maybe a single SS borrowing. Yeah, you don't need to see less it, that too it, much. Right? Feel like, like yeah. we, for example, like Binance, like Binance Pro and Binance Lite is gonna work like that. Yeah, yeah, you, you can have an option to choose or you, oh, you need to I use see. a pro a pro scale up or, or light scale up. Yeah. I see. And then yeah, just so we, we uh it's very exciting that I phone also joined a few days ago we have a, a private lunch and yeah, I chat with the co-founder of the Mr. Lab on the knee. Yeah. yeah and he he he's just uh tell, tell, telling us yes, yeah, scale up uh, the, the sweet mobile uh wallet is open source and it's just we, we also have some plans to maybe customize a, a Scala version of the like a, a, a sweet uh, application to make <coughs> Scala really become a one-stop solution. Just you, you only need to if you want to do do anything uh, on sweet network, you only need to use uh yeah Scala's yeah products yeah. As this is also yeah our goal just be the like uh, the only and the best uh, financial service on nice. sweet blockchain nice. yeah. But but let's say like if if a whole blockchain ecosystem is a city. Uh, what lending and borrowing, what you guys doing is pretty much like a bank yes. for people. But a city, though, it just not have a bank, right? It has, it needs to have like some other things to uh, facilitate the people who live in that. So looking in the Swiss ecosystem, um, from the position of like really early builder on the ecosystem, what is your expect like for the other project to to to, to come and build on Swiss? Like, what is the more important component? Oh, that you may see. Uh, I, I wouldn't say there's a, a most impo uh, important, but I think there's several just uh, different yeah. tracks I would say is important. Like uh, <coughs> since, uh, from from what we are doing, and I think what we are doing is also counting the infrastructure. But 
uh, yeah, let's make Scala to be the uh, anchor. Yeah, uh, like uh, Scala depends on including wallets, oracles, and MM post for the liquidations, yeah. and then some maybe RPC provider, and for sure the validators for the consensus, the consensus, the whole network. And on top of Scala or maybe like other MM posts or, or like stables coins, different projects, they might can have some like maybe. Uh, may maybe a uh, DEX aggregator, yeah. like maybe like a fixed interest rate DeFi protocol, like some vault solution, like some like a yeah, uh, some some uh, other solution of the, uh, the the interest rate machine. No matter it's built on top of a Scala or Navi or like other yield farming, leverage yield farming strategy stuff, right? And for sure, we cannot miss like uh, we, what we saw is two to uh, three years ago. What happens on Solana is a uh, step and build a, a simple but very uh, interesting game, and their uh, swap and their uh, MN solution is used built on top of Orca and bring the Solana Dex trading value to this. Uh, uh, it was a peak in, in that age, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we looking really looking forward. Let's have some uh, application. Maybe it's a game. Maybe it's a game fight. Maybe it can it even can be a social fight. Build on top of all of the, the infrastructure, maybe on, on, on especially on DeFi because yeah. yeah, crypto is very related with finance stuff. So yeah, that is what I like some of the tracklets I want to mention. Yeah. yeah, that's that's nice. And when it comes to like expansion, expansion for for scale up as well, right? Um, from from your point of view, I I know like it's, it's DeFi is more or less is permissionless, but like it's also come to like different uh, market as well. So um, when it comes to like user acquisition. Um, so what is your strategy? Oh, you mean how hard are it like go to market to expand yeah. more users? Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, now, now nowadays because uh, crypto is very uh, countryless, and then I would still I would say languageless, but that's still we can, which means we can use like ChatGPT or yeah. Google Translate to just translate to every language. Yeah, and then also like uh, for sure it's raceless. Yeah, don't care who you are. Only care about like your Twitter. We only see your Twitter handle, your NFT picture, and your address, right? So uh, we we will collab with like uh, including some for, uh, formal way or like some like individual way we collab with like uh, medias or KOLs like for example for medias like we collab a lot with uh, the the leading medias uh, yeah from the Vietnam Coin sixty eight and we also uh, Kiro Venture is our investor they also have their KOL network and also you guys also don't, also have and not not only in Vietnam yes uh, including. Uh, like maybe Korea, Asia, other other country or the global KOL network. I think this also uh, very important. And no matter KOLs, influencers or marketing fronts, like just like uh, another Vietnam uh, Coin sixty eight. Yeah, yeah, I think it's very important. And yeah, save a lot of time. Yeah, I would say it's a win win collab. Yeah. yeah, thank thank you for your good work. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's that's it for for a really detail level of what you want to do. Um. So this is a bit like from. Person, more than personal, right? Because um, you are a builder, you are a veteran in the industry, and your insight worth a lot. So, from your personal point of view, of course, this is not financial advice, uh, um, etc. Um, but um, from your point of view, like, what is, is in in this circle? So, what do you think? What is going to be the the net big things of of this circle? Because um, from what we're seeing, right, we're seeing a lot of uh, things, a lot of big thing, big development happen in the infrastructure level. However, when it comes to like consumer apps, for example, we, I don't know, we, we still haven't seen that huge yet. We, we have been like through the five summer, where we have game five season. But so what do you see like this circle gonna happen? Like what is the trend gonna lead the market this time? Mm, this is a good question. And then I will, yeah, it's also uh, can add some of my personal opinion, right? So I, I will personally, I will focus in on uh, some keyword, including, um, yeah, new, uh, still high performance layer one. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope it can be sweet. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, the security, the compatibility and the scalability. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we mentioned about the infrastructure. So uh, yeah, I, I think DeFi is still just as you count, count, count in the infrastructure because it's the infrastructure of like finance, and we cannot miss finance in on all the layer ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then yeah, in, including uh, in, including DeFi, including uh, some infrastructures, and um, yeah. I forgot the question. <laughs> yeah. What's the next trend? Oh, uh, oh, the last one I, I forgot to, to mention. I think it's about AI because yeah. it saves a lot of uh, the humans' time. Like, uh, I I know I just want to maybe a random picture of something, but uh, uh, I don't have time to find it. Yeah, I can just send a sentence to to, to my AI associate, 
and then also like doing some documentation work like in some like like having some a structure of like one a new program or, or project and also like translate or some like counting yeah. yeah so yeah ai and infrastructure and like high performance layer one and DeFi. i think these are my like my personal yes uh yeah feedback for like some keywords that's mm-hmm. hard keyword but but then you see like when uh with the market moving that fast like it's hard for the newcomer to catch up with everything and because uh, when when they pretty much like so uh, when we host GM Vietnam and we do things in Vietnam only in Vietnam we can see like, a lot of people coming to the market like every day every day um, so and and if they start from scratch like they get to know the nature of DeFi and learn like what is the difference between Sui and Ethereum and what are the difference between you uh, landing borrowing model and with the, the other ones is pretty hard. Right? So, for for your probably like what advice you can give for people when they, they first come to the crypto market at this time to pretty much like reduce the time of learning. Uh, I, I would say just um, because not not like a uh, stock, right? Yeah. You you need to have a like a, a minimum size to get a stock, and yeah. like it's crypto, it can uh, very uh, it can it, it can cut to the uh, minus uh, nine decimals. Yeah, and then now nowadays like new new day one or layer two uh, solutions is very cheap. Not like previously, it's, it, people cannot don't have funds to even pay for the gas fee. Yeah, and also there's so many local uh, like builder events, like community events, like social network networking events or hackers online hackathons. And even uh, if you are just only a, a, a users, yeah, there's still many chance you can join the community events, like some like like some social media events, like even apply for ambassador or even join some like little Discord like small gaming events, and then try to uh, interact with the the, 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 the the protocol and also join every of their uh, event, no matter trading competition, no matter like me me uh, yeah mean competition yeah. yeah you will know more and more uh, about what uh, the, the product you are using you know this more about this industry and also meet friends during this this journey yeah and yeah including hackathons comedy events so yeah if you spend more time just to doing everything that's related with web3 and crypto I, I, I think there's so so many opportunities including ambassadors including like community managers including like bd marketing yeah you, you, it's not a must that you need to be a dev to yeah. to, to call smart contract yeah if, if you, you can use your own skill just just to contribute to this industry and i'm sure we are still too early yes there's so many opportunity and the return is not bad yeah i, I can see that you're really, really <laughs> optimistic about the future right? yeah 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 just uh, uh yeah uh, i i started uh, mining ethereum since 2017 and building devices since 2021 mm-hmm. um yeah i saw the, the market just like pump more than 10 times and mm-hmm. go down just like only this uh, yeah one over 10 just in, in few days so but uh, the, the the thing is uh the, about the take, yeah, it is, uh, yeah, the take is keep, uh, in, 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 keep the like, innovation, and then also uh, the, the, every time when it's pump and go down again, the, the yeah, the, the, the dip is just still higher, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm very still very bullish on this industry, and I trust yes, uh, blockchain decentralized, yes, kind of like, like a decentralized computing a network consensus. Yeah, it, it's really a solution for finance and. I, I pretty enjoy working yeah. in this industry. I would say, cool. yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you make me feel also feel optimistic as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So that is really uh, insightful sharing. Yeah. Thank you for for everything. And yeah, like I will let you like give some like uh, last words for for the community uh, out here, so that we can look waiting for the news coming to scale up. Yeah. Mm, first, I, I I want to thank uh, the Coin System and Kira, and Kira Venture and GM Vietnam team to have. Uh, this chance to just uh, let, let, let me show my opinions. And then well, for Scalab, yeah, if you want to know more about Scalab, it's easy, just check scalab.io. Uh, just all of our team members are workaholics, so follow our social media. We have updates every week. Yeah, just don't miss anything. And we just give away a lot of reward, including some referral reward, some loyal reward, and currently our incentive program is running. 
So yeah, if, if you don't come, just uh, it will be just a gift. To, we will give to another address, <laughs> right? So yeah, just check scalab.io. I would say yeah. Yeah, and don't forget to follow with other social media to get the latest updates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that is. Thank you for your time today, and thank you for all your sharing. And yeah, keep us updated with everything you are building with scalab as well. Yeah, likewise. Thanks, Fang, for having me here, and thanks. Uh, yeah, every so uh, co-workers. Yeah. All right. Thank you, and see you again soon. See you.